Hello, this is a demonstration of a simple 2D CAD CAM program. Here's the initial view that comes up when you run the program. You can see the mill table with the tooling plate and the shaded work area. To turn these on and off, you can click these toolbar buttons up here at the top. You can see my tooling plate, I uh, cut a lot more holes for. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The work area is really nothing more than a visual way to limit yourself to a certain preset area. Alright, now let's get to, down to the basics. The first thing you'll need to know about are modes. Okay, down in the, the lower right corner, there's a little information about your current mode. The default mode is normal, the N button on the toolbar. This mode lets you add simple pocket shapes, some simple gears, and text objects. In this mode, the left mouse button scrolls around the screen. And the right mouse button, with moving the mouse up and down, zooms in and out. You can reset to a fixed uh, zoom ratio with this one-to-one -one button. Okay, now the mouse will sometimes have different behaviors in the different modes. Okay, let's start with a simple rectangular pocket. Let's click the red rectangle on the toolbar. Uh, you can enter your information here like if you want just the outline or if you want it to cut out the interior. Um, you know, basic coordinates, cut depths, feed rates, clearance, and which size tool you're going to use. Let's go ahead and place that object. Okay, now if we scroll around now, it'll show the toolpath of that, that object. If we don't, then it will show what should be the uh, size of the, the tool you've selected as it follows the path. If you click this L button on the toolbar, which stands for lines, you'll see the, the toolpath lines. The toolpath, uh, any, any toolpath that's above Z equals zero will be uh, hidden for clarity. Uh, the, uh, this program is assuming the convention is that uh, negative Z is into the stock and uh, positive Z is clearance. The, uh, the screen itself is actually displaying the NC code so no matter what other weird little quirks there might be with toolpath generation in this program especially in the more advanced stuff, uh, you can always be pretty confident that whatever you see on the screen is what the tool is going to do because it's processing the real NC file. You can uh, you can see that with this scroll bar, this black bar on the left side. If you move it up and down, it only processes the NC file to you know that that certain percentage of the file. And on the bottom, you can see the uh, the line number that it's currently showing so you can kind of see the progress of the build as it goes through the NC file. Okay now let's explore the right click menu. The right click menu is usually different for each mode and usually depends on what your mouse is hovering over. If we right click on the pocket we can see a little bit of information on it like its name, which layer it's on, and some other stuff. The tool menu lets you change which tool you're cutting that out with. Now it doesn't always regenerate the toolpath just from that menu. If you want to regenerate the toolpath you can click the edit and just click OK and it will regenerate the toolpath. So let's, let's set that back. And now see it's way too much work so let's regenerate that again and now it looks good. Okay. The convert to border set option 
is uh, converts it to a border set which is a more advanced geometry mode which I'll cover later that uh, it lets you actually edit the toolpath a little bit and gives you a little more control and then you can delete it okay let's let's try some text okay you can type in the text you want and the size that you want and choose a font and a style okay yeah choose a style okay so let's click OK alright now it's generated the uh, the text and we can change the tool we're using if we'd like and let's see yeah so let's go back to the little drama point okay you, I think you get the basic idea of that. All right, now quickly we can cover the next mode, which is the M button or the move mode. It's uh, pretty simple. The mouse usually does the same thing, but if you if you right click on an object, then it'll start a movement operation. And uh, if you just let go, then it won't do anything. But if you decide you want to place it somewhere then you while you're still holding the right button you just click the left button and it'll place it and that's that's really how the move mode works and we can uh, then yeah just go back to the normal mode after that okay I guess I'll uh, do a separate demo covering the layers and geometry mode information so that's it for now thanks for your time